We have new dazzles, and we dazzle lovers are happy about that. There are 600 dazzles, not 600 packages, 600 <laughs> dazzles, nine packages. And there's so many things you can do with them. There are. There are lots of fun ways to use them, and we're going to show you how to do those, including a brand new way to use them. That's right. Come, Come play, play with them. us. Well, here they are, all nine of them, as <laughs> promised. And in lots of different finishes, we have Zen Butterflies, Zen Leaves, Vintage Messages and Motifs, 42 Card Greetings, Bright Ideas, Double Stick Birds, and we have purple, black, and red butterfly jewel dazzles. That's right. And each of these has 192 in wow. it. Wow. It's just, wow. it's absolutely amazing. We're going to show you each of yes. these individually as we get into the project. So I think I'll just okay. pull these away. Let, let me hold this one. You hold then, that okay. one. Okay. We're going to start with the Zen butterflies. And we call them that because the uh, our graphic designers have really gone to some uh, time to create this filigree work inside the butterflies. That looks like Zentangle. It does. So, uh -huh. And that's just or a coloring. beautiful look. <laughs> and this is really the simplest way, well, almost the simplest way. You can just put your dazzles right onto the paper, yes. or you can back them onto these pattern papers, cut out around the edges. It's such a simple thing to do. It is. And it just I looks love so pretty. It does. And I love it on those colorist papers. It's just super striking. And I mentioned this um, during the week of webisodes that our design team is just finding those colorist papers so useful. So you've got the one side that's black and white, you can color in or leave them as they are. The other side is dots, and that becomes perfect for doing this backing of the dazzles. Right. Love those borders, that border down at the bottom, and that's just a gorgeous look. Very simple to accomplish. Just new, nicely done. Now, right. when you uh, back these with paper, so you're going to place the dazzle on paper, and you get to something like the antenna, just pull the antenna toward you. Right. Cut underneath it. Don't, please, don't try to back those. That's going to be frustrating right. and you will not be happy with us. You know, here's something I'm thinking of. If you're cutting along and you accidentally cut off those antennas, oh. they're still sticky. Just put them on the card <laughs> right. behind and place the butterfly on top. Okay. <laughs> Same thing with those uh, little the swirls, flight patterns. Well, the yes, swirls are actually separate. Okay. They come separate, so you can just place that on the nice. paper. Right, and the butterfly just I like how it's on going up it. onto the message. And I love the font on these, too. That's just an absolute... That it's, it's kind of a different... It's changing from one font to another. That's a really neat look. It is. Now, this is one way you can do them. Right. Here is a different way, and what a difference you get. Right. So this is with our friend the micro glitter and the double-sided adhesive right. so here's the micro glitter from Stampendous and I'm going to show you how that's done so we've got our butterfly dazzles one of which I've already used and we're going to use the self adhesive uh, double-sided adhesive right it's uh, this comes from Holland they call it foil it's actually double-sided adhesive and there are I believe uh, four sheets in the pack they come with yellow paper on each side, and that just kind of is an easy way to identify it. And I do need to tell you that we tested practically every double-sided adhesive we could find for this technique. This is the best. It's absolutely the best. Right. And um, it's a really good process. We've shown it a couple of times, right. but we're going to do it again. Now, yeah, right. There is a, There are a couple of different ways of doing this, but this happens to be my favorite way of doing it. You're going to take a piece of the double-sided adhesive. Cut it down. Cut it down to size. Just make sure that the, butter, the butterfly here, make sure that that dazzle is going to fit on there before you cut it down. Remove one side of that covering and now I'm going to go ahead and apply the micro glitter so I've got a sheet back here to catch the extra micro glitter and you're just going to go over that and you don't have to worry about dumping a lot of this on there because it's going most of it's going to come off and really very little of it is going to stay attached to that double-sided adhesive just make sure that you burnish it all the way around I'm using circles with my fingers. I'm burnishing it 
all over the piece, all the way to where my finger is stuck. <laughs> <laughs> and then you're going to tap it off. And we do this in about a three-step process. Let me get another piece of paper here, move that glitter out of the way. So that was the first burnishing. You do need to do it three times because you don't want this micro glitter traveling onto your face or clothes or anywhere else. Right. So this three step um, just will it ensure that it's going to stay on the adhesive. It does, and right. That's so after want. that third time, very little or nothing really right. should be coming off. So that's ready. I'm going to move the glitter it's out okay. of the way. And then I'm going to go ahead and place the dazzle on there. So it's a large dazzle, but these are really nice, uh, pretty firm dazzles. They're not going to uh, tear easily. They come off really simply. I'm going to place that right onto that, um, that glittered piece of adhesive. Then you just press it on and it's ready to go on to your next step. So in this case, uh, Susan did put it on cardstock. So if you like, at this point, you can go ahead and pull off the adhesive backing. My favorite thing to do in the world. Especially on air. <laughs> yes. So um, there we go. It's not too difficult with the glitter. I had it and then it went back on. <laughs> well, and you Gail will talk to there it. That go. helps her. Well, that's the only way it works. <laughs> okay. Pull that off and now I'm placing it onto an ivory, uh, ivory piece of cardstock. At this point, you can go ahead and cut it out cut out around there. Remember, you can still lift those wings to get them out of the way when or you the cut. Antenna. The, ante mm -hmm. <laughs> the antenna. The antenna, yes. But I'm going to go ahead and show you the next process, which right. is coloring in. And this comes, these Spectrum Noir pens come from the Brights set. And Susan, just uh, up and down. With right, you want to tap it. You don't want to stroke it because if you stroke it, that glitter is going to be adhered to your pen, and we right. don't want that. So just tap, tap, tap. Right, the glitter will come off if you go back and forth, and often I'll forget and do that incorrectly, but anyway, just go It also along. kind of spreads a little bit mm -hmm. um, as you're tapping, so that's an interesting, um, you know, benefit to it also. But I love these colors. I love that you can see right yeah. through there. And the great part is that striking butterfly. It, it, it is just gorgeous. So once you're done coloring that all in, you're going to cut around the edges and then foam tape that onto your card. And that's what she's done. So you're getting any color you want, but you're also getting that glitter. And you're not getting glitter that's going to transfer, as I said, to your face and your work surface and right. your uh, carpeting so it's going to stay put exactly where we told it okay. so you've got two of them let your dreams take flight isn't that pretty and then we've added some of the flowers with it too so that's our first one Beautiful. now we're going to go into a zen leaves so the zen leaves and there are quite a few of these beautiful there leaves are. on here and this again is uh, very uh, involved imagery just beautiful, just really so pretty. There are actually 26 pieces mm -hmm. on this one, and of course on the back of each one of these packages you're going to get ideas of how to use them. You get an idea here on the front. Which we're gonna show you in just a second. But this one is also being housed on top of the two doy oval doily oval do dazzles. Right, so some pattern papers here, you've got the one on top and then you've got that shadow behind it and just beautiful. I love the little, I love, and that comes right with it. Hooray right. for today. Isn't that nice? The greeting is right there. Very, very pretty. I also like the fact that you can add some different kinds of flowers and then just add those leaves as on the background. These are velvet flowers from our friends at Petaloo and uh, they do change their color assortments regularly, so this is one that we've used on this particular card, just beautifully done. Now, I think it's really fun to see a totally different look. Right. We showed you this on the butterflies, so mm -hmm. two different looks. A couple looks. of different ways of making that look. Okay, here are the leaves, and <laughs> here's the one that's on the packaging. Just spectacular. Isn't that gorgeous? Now, that's combining a few of, the, of those uh, sprays basically okay. of leaves so you've got one here you've got one here you've got one up here and then you've got extra leaves the the little uh, butter or uh, 
dragonflies there come with the Zen leaves as well, as well as start each day with a grateful heart. And so what you have is individually backing those leaves on adhesive sheets, foil right. adhesive These sheets. These are the mirror sheets, oh, mirror. and um, they come uh, 10 of these. They're uh, four by nine. They're in one package, and that is an example of what you can do. And that's just a beautiful look. Isn't it gorgeous? Yeah. And it's nice again to see two different ways. Sure. Now, our next dazzle, I'll take that from you, okay. is our uh, card greetings. There are 42 here. 42. And what I love about these is, look at this, it's like script, and they're right. all connected together with this beautiful little flowing, these tails on the end. Yeah, turn it we over. look at the back, mm -hmm. right, you can see um, all of the different ones on here. So you've got hello, happy, you've got two happies and two birthdays. So you can combine those, if you like, with love, just for you, thank you, just because, and and again, with love, you've got two of each of those. And so, here. And embellishments. Oh, there's yeah. little hearts and flowers yeah. in there, too. So here is a way. We'll back up a little bit. You can see this card, and wow. Isn't, isn't that, that gorgeous? Gorgeous. Just gorgeous. Just in a strip across the bra bottom. So you've got a large focal, and you just want to add a greeting. You've got this, as well as some little additional embellishments that were right. used see on those the, hearts. from the same dazzle. Now, this is using the Floral Fantasy Foil Paper Toll, so you can see that. Super easy just to stack those on top of each other mm -hmm. with some foil uh, or with some foam, foam tape, tape mm -hmm. and that's just going to be a gorgeous look. Now, here is another way you could do it. Now, you're just seeing two ways of using this. Yeah. You can use these in so many ways. I love this because a di design toolkit was used and uh, so we've got a cut edge on the front uh, panel of the card as well as on the back panel. I probably should show you this. This is a di design, design toolkit 11. Number 11 and that is the card flap right. uh, design toolkit. It, is. it also has a heart shape on there ah. on that template. See, right, there it is. So you can actually cut a focal and those words just go right across. And isn't that just beautiful striking? Look. So add pretty. Few, add some petaloo flowers and it's yeah. just a beautiful look. This is using the uh, six by six rosemary and thyme right. uh, paper. So really nice. Oh, and these nice. are from it too. So yeah. here are the tinier yeah. dazzles. They've been backed with <clears throat> paper and just beautiful on and you've the got inside. room right. to write. So Isn't another gorgeous look. I mean, you can use those in so many ways. I can just see that being another greetings dazzle, a go-to greetings dazzle. When you're done with your card, you want to quick throw on a greeting. And those of you who are saying, gee, are you going to make them in for Christmas? Yes, we are. Yay! But that will come later. Not right now. <laughs> Stay focused. Okay, this is Bright Ideas, and you can see that silver foiling on the edge. Right. Very, very fun. Isn't it, that great? It has... Um, words and images that go together. So dream big, uh, shine bright, just really, so really very fun. fun. This is done on the Bohemian Dreams oh, paper it is. pack. So that's a nice look. It's kind of a darker look. We're going to show you two different uh, looks with these beautiful little... You want to do that one uh, yeah. first? But first I want to show you how this was done. The inner heart on this uh, on this dazzle we'll get as soon as we focus. get it in focus. There we, there we go. The inner <clears throat> heart, and I love that about these dazzles. Each one of them has a little bit different look. This one has the heart. And you're wanting that in red only, so place that on your cardstock, and then you're going to cut around, and I'm actually going to oh, show you that. Because I haven't shown backing a dazzle yet. I'm sliding my scissors underneath the edge and going straight to that heart and I'm oh. cutting right along the edge of the heart. When I get up to the edge, very carefully, I'm going to pick up and go around behind it again. So I don't want to cut off the edge of the dazzle, and I do want to stay close to the heart, and there we go. So I'm going around the heart. I'm, go I'm going to complete this because I need to show you what which step we go on to next. So Now you are using short bladed scissors, and right. I think that's just a huge help. Right, so I can stay close to the edge, and as I go, I do have to lift that up a little bit, and it works, you know. So you can slide whoops. the scissors underneath. So you can slide the scissors gotcha. underneath, and if I don't drop it while I'm working, that <laughs> would be great. So staying along the edge of that heart, almost around, there we go. When I get down to the end, I pick it up again. And then when I cut it out and lift that up, 
There we Got have your heart, Daddy. There we have the heart just out of the center. And then if I bring in my uh, cream-colored paper or our ivory cardstock, then I just place that down. And before I cut that out, because that can be cut out with a cutting die, I've got a basic chalk set. We'll show you that in just a second. It's my alligator clip. This is a very well-used card set. I don't know. Oh, I think they used the orange one here. A little bit orange. And you can go right over that dazzle to get that background. Very simply, you can go around the edges and make a nice little halo, just like so. And you can sort of blend that out a little bit. And if we show you oh, the pretty. finished project there. So very simple. I really like doing that. I think that really calls attention to the heart. Right. And the chalking is just so easy. And then drawing some little lines. So very if, sweet. If you ever find that your dazzles are not showing as much as you would like, you can go back and just ink or chalk the background. And mm -hmm. then that will give more definition. Right. And so that's one look with our Bright Ideas Dazzles. And here is yet another. A completely different look. Very different, very that. fun and bright this and playful. This is done with the Sweet Life paper pack. And uh, this, I love the nice big label shape up here too for those great big beautiful words. And you can see which uh, template that is. It's one of the design tools, right. I believe. On the gallery. And this is using inside that heart instead of the red. I've got some of the Dazzles here. I'm going to show you what I mean. First, here is one of them right here. I don't have the one with the heart, but I, I will talk about that. The first thing I did is the same thing we did with the butterfly. I took a piece of double-sided adhesive and I removed the cover. Remember, I added the crystal micro glitter. Right, three okay, times. Three times. Once I've burnished that, then I placed this, uh, the little, um, what is this? It's a light, light bulb. bulb. Uh -huh. Thank you. Ding. <laughs> <laughs> I placed the light bulb onto that glittered double-sided adhesive right. and I cut out around the edges. Okay. So now you can still see that double-sided adhesive on the back. Now we're going to peel that off. Here we go. Watch me struggle with peeling off the back. It's only hard when you're on camera and oh, no. seconds are you ticking know, by. Honestly, this is always hard for me. Is it? <laughs> it is. Oh. I, but it's worth it. And it only takes, it's just kind of hard, I guess, when people are watching. There we it go. Is. Okay, so I've got the back of it. <laughs> now, here's what it looks like without the double sided adhesive. Now, you can place it right on top of that. But real quick, quickly, I also wanted to show you, you could put it on oh, acetate. you can. If you put it on acetate, you can see through it, and you can cut that out. I think that's a pretty cool look, too, for your projects. But this one was Wait a minute, placed. wait a minute. And then, and then you could color in the center area with a, a that's spectrum of right. pen. And I do have to tell you, <clears throat> one, when it was placed on here, you can see the, the pink through, but you couldn't see it enough. So on the card, right. that's exactly what was done. A pink spectrum noir pen was oh, used. But I see hearts. Right, well, see, they're back there. They've backed the entire oh. piece, but you still couldn't see through quite enough. So more, so, more pink. Right. Spectrum Noir. Just to be oh. clear, no acetate was used here. I was just showing you that <laughs> different little way of using a light bulb. But <laughs> okay, let's back up so we can see. So the three in a row, right above right. or right below, I dream, need. dream big, shine, shine bright. bright, and you can color in parts of those. Yeah, that glitter so on. very fun. Very so sweet. again two very different looks, which is just perfect. Okay, what are we moving on we to? We are moving into vintage messages and motifs. Love now, this one. This is a little bit like the bright ideas in that there are words and there's an image that coordinates. Right, so, and there are some pretty fun images. Yeah. A teacup, a big music, note. music mm -hmm. note, well, a treble clef and a, a sewing machine. And I think there are 42 pieces on right. this one, so quite a few. And you can see the sewing machine on the mend are the words that coordinate with it. There's also um, a strip of that uh, of the border piece down here at the bottom. But actually, before you place that dazzle a border on there, take your paper, run a glue stick across it, and add a little bit of micro glitter. There you go. Right. And you can see all of these little embellishments too. Right. Now there's also this the thread that right. has been cascading up around the card. And that was done with glue. So if you've got a bottle of craft, craft glue, mm -hmm. something like that, then just make a little squirrely like that. I think the specialist glue, it's going to have that needle nose applicator and it's gonna be perfect. Perfect for that. And then just put the glitter on there 
and, and again, shake we're it off. Still with the micro glitter, right? With right? The micro glitter. Okay. I think before that process, I would do what Debbie did, which was to draw the little threads stitched lines. along there, right. which is a great look. Good. So on the mend, very and then sweet. on the inside, time for fun, and Yay. we still echo that stitch line around mm -hmm. the outside. I love the little additions. That there are pins, yeah. and there's a little button there. So, so, so very fun. Sewing machine on the mend. We also have your terrific. Beautiful. Isn't that pretty? It is, and it's backed with a couple of different papers from this Bohemian Dreams paper pack. And then you can even go in right into the center here, add a little detail with Spectrum Noir pens to color those in just ah. a little bit. We've added some of the burlap flowers again from Petaloo and just to complete that a little bit project. Of ribbon, yes. It's just beautiful. I and love this the is inking a, too. Go ahead. Go, yeah, and this is a five inch square card. Right. And the inking, actually, I think it's really nice. Do you have a black ink pad over there? Uh, yes. Um, I do. I have this, a stays on jet black. Perfect. This is something that when people start making cards or scrapbooking, I have been told multiple times that to learn this technique <laughs> of inking the edge of their cards or their papers right is just such a wonderful thing because it's so easily it's so easily done and it just does a really nice job of framing exactly. everything. So you can see all of the layers were done. You can done. also tilt that a little bit yes. when you're working and sort of swipe a little bit to get in further to the card right. if you'd like more of an effect. And you can also use a cosmetic wedge and really just sort of go around this way, ink it up onto your ink pad and then add. So a few different ways of adding ink to your right. card. Now we're going to move on to our butterflies. butterflies. So Yay. we have, as I said, 192. Now earlier this year, actually back in January, we did bring out three colors, a gold, silver, and something that I'm forgetting. Probably uh, pearl. Pearl? Uh, pearl? Gold yeah, and gold, silver, pearl. pearl. Right, and the third one. Oh. And now we have the red, black, and purple. And this has just been so much fun, so easy to use, <laughs> and here is one way. I think maybe it was pink, by the way. It might. Uh, nope. No, nope, I'm wrong Something again. else. Sorry. <laughs> um, so you can see what's done is just to let them flutter across your pattern paper. Isn't that great? So easy. This is a smaller card, it so is. it really helps them to stand out a little bit if you're focusing on those butterflies. But I love the focal from the paper toll. Yeah, so this is gone. Garden of Posies, and this is that one little butterfly that you can, in fact, this is a really great example with Paper Toll, and this is a, this one is one you could do it with, is that you can use the pieces to foam tape, or you can use them individually. Right. So that so little- So they can be stacked yeah. or pull it apart and use just one piece, and so. that fits perfectly with the Pretty Little Posies papers, and then those butterflies just add to it. Do you want to see the black ones? Oh, How let's see the black. Isn't oh my that gosh. pretty? <laughs> that is pretty. Very, very nice. It's pretty, but they're black. I, mean, I know. That, that's just a, a gorgeous look. It's because of that silver that really helps them to pop, and they're so glittery. And the, yes, they're glittery, but you know, that glitter's not going to rub off on you. Right. So just very, very fun. Okay, so maybe this is just me, but I can sort of see using those as bats on a Halloween card, you too. You can. Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> okay, we'll be talking to you later and privately. Now I do love is, that look with that large label in the center and those wildflower paper yes, flowers. Yes, it's quite look. beautiful. Now, there is another technique that we learned. Okay. And that is taking the butterflies and uh, doing them with uh, using three of them to make right. them even more three-dimensional. And very impromptu doing this <laughs> little technique. <laughs> you want to do it? Because Oh, yeah, sure. I, I like to use an, a, a pen knife to pull these up. That, that's the only reason I have this is just because it's quick for me to pull them up. And you're going to need three of these large butterflies down here at the bottom. So I'm going to pull one off. And I'm going to start by folding this in half. Now you can place this down and fold it or you can use your fingers. You know, I think I'm just going to use my fingers. Fold it in half, wing to wing, and upside to upside. So you're leaving the sticky part on the outside. So I folded that over, it's still sticky. And I've done it with a second one. Oh, thank you, so here's the other one that's already been folded. You're going to line up the wings. I hope you can see that. 
line up the edges of those wings there we go and stick them together just so now those two wings oh there are sticking together so now we've got a piece that looks like this and I have your third one and I'll folded. fold that over. You're just folding it in half, no big deal. Just folding it and adding the next. So that's three butterflies stuck with those wings back to back. And now you have this beautiful look where if I do place that down on something, and you can place that on your card. I'm just setting it on the craft or your sheet. Page. Right, you just stick that on there. And now you've got these extra wings that sit up. And it's just and it flutters. It flutters, and it's just a, an amazing little look. Yeah, it's fun. So that's extra. Okay. Now we're going to go <laughs> to the double stick bird dazzles. Now during our week of webisodes, we showed you a few techniques, but here is yet another. And the double stick dazzles are, as they purport to be, double stick. <laughs> so they are clear, and they're uh, they have a liner. You're gonna yes. free show us that. Right, and this particular one is using um, some of the gilding flakes. All right. Okay, so you want to start? And much easier to remove. You remove that covering. <laughs> or just lift it. Um, some of us like to staple right. it so that you don't inadvertently throw it away because you need it to cover all of the other, right. other images so, I've so just, they don't get dirty. I've lifted just far enough to be able to remove one of the birds and then I let it go back in place to protect it. I'm going to place it onto these papers. These are papers from the Jewel Creative Pack. If I'm getting that oh, the card makers right. Jewel Creative Pack. There we go. So now that double stick is on there and I've got my Cosmic Shimmer Gilding Flakes. This is the Sunlight Speckle set and I, I just love these. They're just all, all, several different colors in there. I'm going to place that right onto the double stick dazzles. You've got silvers, you've got golds. So this looks like little rays of sunlight, I guess. I think so. In there. And you're going to start by pressing these down and press them right onto that double-sided dazzle and it's going to stick to this side very simply. Then I've got a cosmetic sponge or you can use a scoochie sponge and start removing them. And I just use little circles and you see how quickly? It's, it's really like magic. It just comes uh, off that quickly and I could stop right there and you can already see how gorgeous that is. Very, very simple pretty. process. And you just keep rubbing it with the sponge until you see the design clearly. And that's all you do. And then, of course, you can reuse everything that you pulled off. Right. This uh, is using one of the templates to create this on top, but it's actually glued to the front of the card. So it looks like it might be a flap, but in this particular case, it's not. And notice the little uh, uh, feathers over at the corner. Isn't that And great? right by the hello. So those come with those dazzles as well. Yes, they do. There is, uh, oh, we've also added Petaloo. We're kind of showing a lot of Petaloo. Well, they work really <laughs> well with dazzles. They do. Yes, and this is, uh, you'll see it in the uh, gallery. This is the Chantilly Velvet Hydrangea. Hydrangea is one of my favorite flowers. <laughs> now, our last one is using this, and these are also the double stick, but we've used something else, which is the micro glitter. Right. And so there are can... four colors. I'll show you what they are right now. So you can see the purple, which is called lavender. And we have the uh, peony pink. And then we have gold and we have silver. So all four of them. And this is a very super fine glitter. It is. And I've got a double stick dazzle. You can see the little bird that I've lifted. And I'm placing it onto the cardstock because I'm going to be cutting it out afterwards, or you would when you were done. I'm going to put that over a piece of paper and I'm going to start with the, let's see, I think I'll start with the purple. Okay. So I've got the purple on this one. I used a different bird I can see right away <laughs> than, than was used, but it also looks to me like they actually left a little area here they wanted one part pink, so let me think about that for just a second. <laughs> if, you, if you use the cover from those dazzles, and I'm just going to sort of place it over ah, that area to see if I can, right, see if I can get the glitter just on part of it. So I'm actually masking it off a little bit. That way, 
when I burnish that in, and I am going to burnish that into that double stick dazzle, I should be able to get it just on that one side, or at least a little bit. I want to make sure I get the whole tail piece here. So you just burnish it in and then you shake it off. And it's that same process of doing it three times. And then I would put pink on this side. I would just mm -hmm. sort of pink. But that's how this was done. Burnished in and remember three times Tap and then off. tapping it off and it'll come off. It's, it's very staticky, this cardstock. <laughs> but it will come off entirely. And then the next thing that was done is that individually the innies from that oh. same bird were placed inside. So go ahead and after this is done and you've got all of the extra glitter off of there and tapped off, then you're going to place the innies in there and use those other colors. And that's how you're easily going to get multiple colors. Right. So using the innies, which is great, and you can see the birdhouse right there with red, again, the innies, and then some silhouette birds are also added. So again, two very different looks from the same package. Right. And that, my friends, is 600 dazzles. 600 dazzles. Right. All of these different looks. You've got zen leaves, zen butterflies, card greetings, messages and motifs, jewel butterfly dazzles, double-sided birds, <laughs> and bright <laughs> ideas. Isn't that a bright idea? <laughs> Using dazzles is it a is, bright idea. It is, definitely. <laughs> we'll see you next week. Thanks right. for joining us. Bye-bye.